Hi again folks, in this video, a proposed trade with the Vegas Golden Knights, once again, coming up. My goodness, jeez. <laughs> okay, before I flip this and we look at this trade, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I came up with this. Before I got really sick the last few days, okay, I came up with this trade like days ago and uh, I had, a, I had, these are just kind of the two I think that Vegas would be willing to move to us to get this done. And I think for them, they would jump all over this, guys. They would jump all over it, I believe. I really do. Because if Vegas can open up cap room, it, to them is gold right now, right? And we got to take advantage of that. And we're the team that can. We're on good terms with them, it seems. It does. You know, with the jack trade, it went kind of smooth. There was no like backlash or, you know, it was kind of smooth. We'll know if we make a deal with them, we'll know. So let's take a look and I'll explain it in a sec. Why, okay, Alec Martinez. And yes, I know he has a, a, an, an NMC on his, on his uh, contract, but let's not worry about that right now. I'm sure they can sit him down and say, please Alec, you know, like <laughs> we want you out of here. We know they're trying to move Alec Martinez. We know this. Chandler Stevenson, that would be the sweetener for Ben Bishop. And don't think that this isn't possible because it is. They know they can put this on LTIR and open up all this cap, okay? That's 8 million bucks in cap. Right now they're sitting on about 2 million. Unless you're going to count the Weber. Uh, you don't count the Weber money. You got remember at the beginning of the season that Weber contract comes right off and they'll have a book let's pretend right now it's the beginning of the season right now they have two million bucks in cap but they only have 18 on their roster guys they need at least two more and no team just wants 20. so right now they want to get minimum 22 players they got to get four more players and you're not going to get it with two million bucks and they still have to sign Nicholas Haig they don't want to lose Nicholas Haig, guys, because this is a part of their big part of their future, this kid. This kid's awesome. And I'll tell you what, if they're boneheaded and stupid enough to want to send him over because he wants more than, let's say, Chandler Stevenson makes, my goodness, take Nicholas Haig, Haig and Alec Martinez and bring them over. We'll take on this contract, which they hate right now in Vegas, as we know. They want to get rid of Martinez and open up some cap and be a little healthy for the first time since the whole Eichel fiasco, right? Well, they've been a mess for a while. So Vegas, like I said, have about 2 million bucks in space. This would make it 10. They'd be missing two players that are signed currently, right? So their roster size would be 16. They'd have to get, say, six guys locked in with 10 million bucks. It is doable. It is if this can happen. They'd have to trust in their farm. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'm still blah. But their farm right now is, <laughs> let's just say it hasn't been raining and the crops aren't growing out there. So they're gonna have to trust in some role players and they're gonna, they're gonna have to. I mean, they, they, you can't have all your guys making nine, 10 million bucks and expect to have a powerhouse. It just, you just can't. They've mismanaged their money so badly. And these guys, some of them are really beyond their prime. Jack, they, they're lucky. They got Jack at least at his age, right? We know that the, Jack is still very capable of going there and really helping this team if he really straightens out and gets his, uh, you know, gets his game together this year. I, th I expect Jack actually to have like a 30-goal season. If Eichel has a bad year this year, I'd be very surprised. So that would that for me, I think they would jump all over this if I'm Vegas. I think they would jump all over this if they could. Because they want to move him, they'd be willing to risk him for sure. I think they'd be willing to let Chandler Stevenson go. That's a very friendly contract for a guy that just put up a pretty good season. I believe he had 18 goals, right? Something like that. 17, 18 goals. And, but, I mean, they still have to sign Nicholas Haig and that's the big one right there. So they'd have about 10 million bucks, about three and a half, about three and a half, maybe three, let's say three, a real fair deal to get Nicholas Haig signed would be three million bucks. That means their roster would be at 17, <clears throat> sorry, and um, they would have seven million to get five guys locked in. It's tight, it's tight. They've, they've basically done what the Leafs have done with the money over there. That's what they've done. 
They've done the same thing. They've capped out so many big name tickets that now they're like, oh my God, you know? So what do you think, guys? Or would you be willing to let Ben Bishop go? <laughs> Question is, would, you be, would it be too much, you think, for Alec Martinez at 35 years old coming over to this young Sabres squad, which I don't think it would be. Not when a guy scored the Stanley Cup winning goal in overtime. I think that's nice to have in our dressing two years. You know, we could have uh, all sorts of, we could look at all sorts of things that we can, you know, we had Gianta for goodness sake. It drove me nuts when we had him signed up. Not that I hated Gianta, but he was way past any good that was left in him. If we brought him over, he'd be a good mentor. Right? Guy that's a, a defenseman that's won the Stanley Cup, scored the winning goal, you know. And 5.25, um, we could hack for two years before everything goes crazy with our youngsters, you know. We could hack this. We could. We could manage that. And Chandler Stevenson for 2.75, very friendly. Very friendly deal right there. For only two more years also, you know. We could always trade him out as we, as we move on. So this is my thinking, guys. Really, why, you know, and I get why they did it, but I think right now they might be second guessing that Ben Bishop, you know, we'll see if they're really going to really utilize that or not, but it could be used as a, as a tool with teams like Vegas, teams like Tampa Bay, teams like Toronto, teams that need to, need to, trade out cap, even if it's 3 million bucks, is gold to some teams right now, guys, gold. For us, we're looking at it like, oh, wow, you know, like, yeah, the, this, if, if, if they would say yes to something like this, you know, and I could see something like maybe them sending um, a second rounder and us sending back even a third rounder. There could be a, a, a draft picks, maybe, but I, I just want to go with players because we know they want to get rid of that. And for us, we don't care if we get rid of this. I mean, why not just have Alec Martinez for an extra year at really basically the same money, same cap hit, right, for one year? It doesn't make any, any, any sense to me, guys, not to try and do something like this. And I think Adams is already thinking things like this. If I'm thinking it, I'm sure he is, right? So Ben Bishop, we lose Ben Bishop, guys. I don't know if we can hack that. But Ben Bishop goes, we get back, Alec Martinez, Chandler Stevenson. And again, recapping very quick, Vegas has about 2 million in space right now. Now they have 10. Roster size 18, it would be down to 16, but they'd easily be able to sign Nicholas Haig right now. As soon as you open that money, they can, uh, they can sign Nicholas Haig. They can't sign him right now because they're, I don't know, I think they're way too tight towards the 10% of the cap thing in the off season. I'd have to check that, but. All right, guys, <laughs> that's my trade of the night. Ben Bishop, <laughs> but I think this could work, something like this, so. All right, let me know what you think, guys. I'll see you in the next video.